North Korea blasts U.S. invasion treaty with South as World War III tensions rise. North Korea has condemned a treaty between the U.S. and South Korea by labeling it a scheme that will be used to invade the Hermit Kingdom. The isolationist nation waited until the 64th birthday of the Mutual Defense Treaty to state that the agreement forms the basis of an incoming invasion by the U.S. and neighboring South Korea. Despot leader Kim Jong-un used his puppet newspaper, Rodong Sin Mun, to take aim at the treaty on Sunday. The Rodong Sin Mun described the agreement as, a treaty embedded with a plot to actualize their delusion to invade North Korea. The paper added. The mutual defense treaty is explicitly implanted with the U.S. reckless ambition for invasion as it aims to trigger a war of invasion into North Korea at any time. The invasion war treaty should be abolished without delay. The mutual defense treaty states that if either the U.S. or South Korea is faced with an external armed attack, the other will come to the attack country's aid. The positioning of U.S. troops in South Korea is justified by the treaty, this is one of the biggest reasons for Pyongyang's recent condemnation. The agreement was signed on 1 October, 1953, two months later the Korean armistice was signed that formally ended the Korean War. No peace treaty was ever signed between the North and South, meaning the two countries are still technically at war. The damming of the Ejeolled Treaty comes at a time when the U.S. and North Korea sit on the brink of starting World War II. North Korea recently accused the U.S. of declaring war after a recent tweet from Donald Trump lashed out at the Hermit State. President Trump wrote, just heard Foreign Minister of North Korea speak at UN. If he echoes thoughts of Little Rocket Man, they won't be around much longer. In response, North Korea's foreign minister, Ri Yong-ho, claimed the country will take aim at any further bombers, even if they occupy international airspace. Since the feud, the U.S. has denied declaring war on North Korea with White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders claiming accusations made were absurd. Yesterday North Korea issued a major threat against neighbor Japan. The rogue state, which has fired two rockets over Japanese territory this year, sent the warning you will pay for your crimes. Pyongyang-based newspaper issued the threat to Tokyo which was a reference to past government general rule over Korea enforced by Japan. And last night North Korea officials vowed to make nuclear clouds over Japan. Korean Central News Agency said the behavior of Japan in calling for international maximum pressure on the rogue state was little short of mad. The statement read, inciting tensions on the Korean Peninsula is a suicidal deed that will bring clouds to the Japanese archipelago, archipelago.